In today's lecture, we are going to master match the headings question set of IELTS reading module. This particular question type is known to be the most time consuming question set out of all the questions that you're given. So today we are going to learn a step-by-step -step process about how to tackle this question type in the most efficient way and with the maximum accuracy possible. Before we begin, you must remember that you should always attempt match the headings question set before any other question for the particular passage. Because when you attempt match the headings, you have to read almost every paragraph more than once in order to get all the questions of match the headings right, which helps you later when you are doing the next question sets. Because you don't have to reread the passage and you already know where to find the answers. With that out of the way, let's start with the step number one. The first thing we do is to read the question and figure out which of the paragraphs are we supposed to title. For example, here you have to title from paragraph A till paragraph F. So we will start from paragraph A. The next step is to read the paragraph, not the headings. Remember, we have still not looked at the headings options that we were given in the question. Now, if you are good at reading, then you are good to go. You should use only what you have been using up till now. But if you need help with your reading skills, you may either want to have a tutor who can help you improve your reading skills, or you can try reading every paragraph twice. In the first reading, we try to figure out the meaning of each sentence in the paragraph. Now, once you have finished till the very last sentence, now it's time to reread the paragraph and it's time for you to name the paragraph yourself. You still have not looked at any of the given options. You're just trying to name this paragraph completely on your own. You should figure out what name would you decide on to give as a title to this paragraph. Once you have selected on the name that you want to give the paragraph, now it's time to finally look at the headings. We will read all the headings that are given to us and we will find one heading that resembles the most with the name that we decided on for the paragraph. Once we find a resembling option, now it's time to eliminate all the other options in order to cross check if we have the most suitable answer out of all the given options. So that was the last step. By the end of these steps, you will be remained with only one option, which will be your title for the given paragraph. That's it. That's how you do it. So let's try it once. The modern world is increasingly populated by quasi-intelligent gizmos, whose presence we barely notice but whose creeping ubiquity has removed much human tragedy. Take a pause. Think about the meaning of the sentence. So this sentence basically means that we have too many intelligent gadgets around us who are helping us with our day-to-day -day lives and we do not even notice their presence because we are very much used to them. Next line says, Our factories hum to the rhythm of robot assembly arms. Again, that means that we have too many robots or machinery in our factories. Our banking is done at automated teller terminals that thank us with rote politeness for the transaction. Now we are talking about ATMs and how good they are when we are transacting money from those machines. Our subway trains are controlled by tireless robot drivers. Here we are saying that our subway trains are controlled by robots and we don't have to worry about who is driving these trains. Our mine shafts are dug by automated moles and our nuclear accidents such as those at Three Mile Island and Chernobyl are cleaned up by robotic muckers that fit to withstand the radiation. This sentence simply means before humans used to do this work in mines and radiations were harmful to them which is now out of the question because machines are doing this work now and 
machines are not affected by the radiation. So it's a good news. Such is the scope of uses envisioned by Carol Kapek, the Jack playwright who coined the term robot in 1920. The word robota means forced labor in Shack. This term robot was envisioned by Carol Kapek. We also know the meaning of robot that is forced labor. Lastly, as the progress accelerates, the experimental becomes exploitable at record pace. That means that with time, we will be using these machines and we will be exploiting their expertise more than ever. That's all. We have read this paragraph carefully once. Now it's time to reread it and try to find out a name for it. A modern world is increasingly populated by quasi-intelligent gizmos who presents we barely notice but whose creeping ubiquity has removed much human tragedy. From there we can figure out too many gadgets in our day-to-day -day lives which we like, which are helpful to us. Now, a factory is hummed to the rhythm of robot assembly arms. Our banking is done at automated tailor terminals that thank us with roach politeness for the transaction. Our subway trains are controlled by tireless robot drivers. Our mine shafts are dug by automated moles. And our nuclear accidents, such as those at Three Mile Island and Chernobyl, are cleaned up by robotic muckers fit to withstand radiation. All of these sentences were just an example of how we use machinery in our day-to-day -day life and how much helpful they are to us. Such as a scope envisioned by Carol Kapek. Here we have the name of, we have the origin of the name, robot, and with time, we will be using machines even more. So overall, the name that I want to draw for this particular paragraph would be uses of robots in our day-to-day -day life and the help we get from them. It's time to look at the headings. Number one, robots have quietly infiltrated our lives. Here, what the heading means is that robots have quietly entered into our lives and we do not notice them because they are helping us. They are not harmful to us. Human skills have been heightened with the help of robotics. We have not talked about any of the human skill in the paragraph, so it is safe to eliminate this one. There are some things we prefer brain to control. We did not talk about human brain in the passage, so it is safe to eliminate this one as well. Original predictions have been made. Yes, there is one prediction in the last line of this paragraph that is, as the progress accelerates, the experimental becomes exploitable at record pace. Though it is only a prediction, it is not a revision of anything we said prior to this. So we can eliminate this one as well. If you don't understand why I eliminated heading number four, reread the last line of the paragraph. Moving on, scientists are examining the humanistic possibilities. No, we did not talk about humanistic possibilities in robots yet. Sixth, there are judgments that robots cannot make. No, we did not talk about that as well. So we are only left with the heading number one that seems to be the most resembling option to the name that we figured out on our own. And it is only one that we are left with, so it is our answer. Yeah, so this is how you do it easy right now it's time for you to try it on your own remember you have to read this paragraph twice once sentence by sentence and the second time when you read it you have to keep in mind that you are going to name the paragraph completely on your own then you will look at the headings figure out which heading resembles with your name the most and then eliminate the remainings in case you end up with more than one heading, just write down these two options at the probable answer for the given paragraph and move on to the next paragraph because you will end up using one of the headings for the other paragraph, then you will have a unique name for every paragraph in itself.
Take your time, read it, and then reread it.